I'm Jeff Budnick. I'm a picture car coordinator. I oversee the cars, who will be driving what. I'm John Lange. I do all the on-set stuff. Place the cars, make sure that they still run after we've uh, got them on set. All the cars are stock 67 Impala four-door hardtops. They're stock interior. We did uh, change the colors. Uh, this isn't factory color. This is tan, the black seats. We had all these seats made with this tuck and roll upholstery. But other than that, they're basically stock. Every car that we've got, we've had to paint, other than the original one we got up for the, the pilot. The radios, um, none of them work. They're all prop radios, uh, but uh, this is the one they use in the show. I'd like to put a, a CD player in here with a boom stereo, but that might be a, another year. All the cars are real. Every car that we own, um, other than the ones that have been uh, the first season where they hit the semi, uh, you know, we still have those, but they do not run. And basically we keep them for parts because uh, these are getting really hard to find. We have an on-set mechanic anytime there's stunts there. So uh, if something goes wrong when it's on film, there's somebody fix it right away. And then we have a mechanic shop close by that uh, one guy does most of all the work on the cars and he keeps them running with their old cars. All the cars are uh, small block Chevys, 350s. Uh, this particular car is a stunt car. It has a high performance engine. It has uh, a posi 12 bolt rear end, four wheel disc brakes. We have a system in both the stunt cars called the stomp brake. When the stunt driver hits that brake, it locks the rear end because these are old, heavy vehicles. It, it gives it enough uh, um, brake power to spin the car. It's uh, line lock also in this car so that they can press a little button on the, the column shift and it locks the front brakes and it's able to, to burn the tires pretty good. This season, season three, this car right here did a 52 foot jump. On the episode, it looks like they went over a little bump, but we actually jumped it at 52 feet, and we still ended up destroying the engine. It's amazing what these cars actually will do, you know? This is the buck car. Ooh, ooh, it's dusty. The hood comes, the roof comes off. The doors come off. That's for getting insert shots, close-ups of the dashboard them changing the knobs on the stereo. No glass. It's on casters. About a dozen pieces. Yeah, everything comes apart. Every door, uh, it actually comes in half. The whole back end, the whole front end, the roof. It's a really amazing piece. Hi, welcome to the Supernatural Weapons Cache. Uh, my name is Darren Allen. I'm uh, second onset prop master on the show. What you see here is uh, all the fun stuff that the Winchester boys play with on a daily basis when they're killing supernatural beings, which, as you all know, could be pretty much anything. We have the boys' guns here. You have Sam's uh, Ithaca pump and Dean's Bacile side-by-side -side shotgun. You have uh, Dean's 45. It's engraved. It's quite a nice weapon. This is Sam's PT-99. It's a 9 millimeter. These are the salt rounds that they put in when they're shooting demons. They're holy water flasks. We have stuff for killing vampires. These steaks, these. They're salt that they use if they need to, you know, make a line across the doorways to keep the demons out. Gas for when they burn someone, right? They have their bandoliers. They're going into battle, so to speak. Let me show you the specialist gun that we have. And we have the real Colt. That's a uh, 1836 or a Pat Texas Patterson, 38 caliber. And we had this gun specially made for the show, actually. It was the key to the Gates of Hell last year in uh, 22, I believe it was, or 23. And then, uh, like the cars, we also have what's like stunt guns, so you can, you know, it doesn't hurt. You could pistol whip someone with them and stuff. Not that they do too often with this gun, because it's a demon killing gun only. As a prop guy, it's a really cool show to work on. Plus, Kim Manners is my hero. We hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the Impala and the weapons cache at Supernatural. And uh, keep watching Supernatural because we like working here. So take care. See you later. See you.